In this lesson, we will focus on a category of machine learning problem called classification. By the end of this video, you should be able to define what classification is, discuss whether classification is supervised or unsupervised, and describe how binomial classification differs from multinomial classification. As we discussed before, classification is one type of machine learning problem. In a classification problem, the input data is presented to the machine learning model, and the task is to predict the target corresponding to the input data. The target is a categorical variable, so the classification task is to predict the category or label of the target given the input data. For example, the classification problem we discussed before and illustrated in this image is to predict the type of weather. The target that the model has to predict is the weather, and the possible values for weather in this case is sunny, windy, rainy, or cloudy. The input data can consist of measurements like temperature, relative humidity, atmospheric pressure, wind speed, wind direction, etc. So given specific values for temperature, relative humidity, and all those other measurements, the task for the model is to predict if the weather will be sunny, windy, rainy, or cloudy for the day. This is what the data set might look like for the weather classification problem. Each row is a sample with input variables, temp temperature, humidity, and pressure, and target variable, weather. Each row has specific values for the input variables and a corresponding value for the target variable. The classification task is to predict the value of the target variable from the values of the input variables. Since a target is provided, we have labeled data, and so classification is a supervised task. Recall that in a supervised task, the target or desired output for each sample is given. Note that the target variable goes by many names such as target, label, output, class variable, category, and class. A classification problem can be binary or multi-class. With a binary classification, the target variable has two possible values, for example, yes and no. With multi-class classification, the target variable has more than two possible values. For example, the target can be short, medium, and tall. Multi-class classification is also referred to as multinomial or multi-label classification. Remember, though, the target is always a categorical variable in classification. Some examples of binary classification are predicting whether it will rain tomorrow or not. Here, there are only two possible outcomes. Yes, it will rain tomorrow, or no, it will not rain tomorrow. Another example is identifying whether a credit card transaction is legitimate or fraudulent. Again, there are only two pos possible values for the target, legitimate and fraudulent. Some examples of multi-class classification are uh, predicting what the type of product that a customer will buy. Uh, in this case, the possible values for the target variables would be product categories, such as kitchen, electronics, clothes, and things like that. And there are more than one categories of products. So this is a multi-class classification problem. Another example is categorizing a tweet as having positive, negative, or neutral sentiment. Again, the number of possible values for the target is more than two here, although it's three. So this is also a multi-class classification task. In summary, in classification, the model has to predict the category corresponding to the input data. Since the target is provided for each sample, Classification is a supervised task. The target variable is always categorical in classification. 